Arthur. <laughs> are you okay there, Arthur? Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Okay, boy. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side offer. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worried too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a couple. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, uh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. How you doing, friend?
hello. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. Yeah. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy I stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten... Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Friend, you know where we went? Afraid I don't know. You know which way my friend went? Sorry, I don't know. Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Sorry. You seen that feller I was with? You're talking to nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get off, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> Anywhere you 
you hiding now? Lenny, stop slumping off on me! What? Hi, Lenny! Arthur! Arthur, what are you doing? You alive? Arthur! You uh, alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. Where are we? What do we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. Uh, yeah. You pair degenerates. Uh, There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either of you around here no more. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, that was a quiet drink? The first one was pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least you took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. <sighs> 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 <sighs>
Every time I see you, uh. I get my hopes up. It's the last time. Man's got a dream, don't you? Leviticus Cornwall's train robbers still at large. Long time, boy. What the hell you doing? Dumbass. That all got a little messy, huh? I reckon it's best if we just put it behind. What even are the Philip 
feelings. Just the biggest load of nonsense yet. Girl. Yeah, it's enough to turn a good, honest fella to drink. Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink water and fast. Dutch, I, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> Nothing too I serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. Okay. Arthur? How are you holding up? Pretty good. Glad to hear it. Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Not again, Abigail. Not ever. Just leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. You're you happy pathetic. to have Uncle Sean back? Yeah, Don't I missed I him. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> Lenny. Abigail. Herr Morgan, Herr Morgan. Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Look at that. Ain't it beautiful? Sure, I guess. I know your ears are working, Arthur. <laughs> if you like that sort of thing. It's a rainbow, Arthur. Why? Everyone I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very... Bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. It goes without saying. Uh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Yeah, all right then. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. Well, sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, or less.
No, no, come on. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, his family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? No. Oh, big place, right? your binoculars. There's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. It's a large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey! Keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe you hunt a pig this time with mouth. Creepers, bitch. Don't score no shit in the city, Fleming's head. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, noob? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes, I was. Gag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. Stay low. You shut Parker. your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. What are you doing? Go! Get down! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? Damn Let's it, see. if we get caught, it's on you.
What's a hickory happen here? Sweet and heck! Crash! about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Yeah. 